you agree with the thought that prolonged work from home can have detrimental effects on mental health and social interaction what do you think a company can do what employers can do to ensure that people are staying focused committed and happy we need to basically engage on a regular uh, video communication uh, rather you know uh, basically you know on the when you are talking about the productivity metrics you basically have to outline the expectations and keep monitoring the progress when on a regular interval and keep throwing suggestions all the time rather than bringing up a sudden surprise to your uh, downline and um, and one more point would be like you know see it's a, it's it's going to be a bit of a challenge when you were to manage a uh, bit on the slack side on the non performers uh, we need to be really subtle and you know uh, just have to have a private message or emails not by sending uh, very very i mean you know in a group mail or something that going to be like a really a negative impact and then uh, it can get into a really a decrease in morale and serious a uh, create a serious stress uh, professional meeting aside i would say a dedicated friday tea party or whatever parties that you could probably have it virtually uh, where teams could catch up and talk about everything apart from work and the last thing is to ensure that there is no negative uh, spat of rumors or that spreading around uh, typically on a pink slip or laying off uh, that's a real drainer Uh, we need to ensure whatever possible ways and means to avoid this thanks felix i'm going to direct the same question to you sangram what do you think organizations can do to keep them focused right i'd, I'd like to first you know kind of kind of pinpoint towards the progress you know uh, detrimental effects uh, the first one on my list would be procrastination right that is very very easy to creep in but lack of peer motivation uh, audience that we are used to working with uh these procrastination germs are like very very highly to latch upon people and no more to sanitize is washing it off right uh that's not helping so uh moving on the other thing that i really feel is is hitting can hit people and then and uh, it is the personal and professional cocktail right uh what i mean to say is when we leave home go to office we are likely to leave home baggage at home it could be conflicts with the siblings parents spouse uh, kids etc and we the same thing when we're leaving from office and coming back home we are likely to leave the office baggage at office could be customer escalations could be issues with colleagues managers etc but with the work from home uh, i believe it is kind of getting to become a deadly cocktail and uh, that everybody has to have and i don't think everybody can digest it with that and leading to hangovers of course so i think to be able to again get rid of these things i think you know certain uh, spending time with with your with your people you know trying to reorganize the schedule you know it is really going to help uh, and most importantly the conversations the managers uh, the people managers need to talk to people everybody uh, is made differently everybody has different social you know barriers challenges extended family smaller families smaller house with the house i think that thing really needs to to be to be known to the managers at least so that they can anchor those team members accordingly definitely sankram thank you and it makes me think about something that we've also been discussing at indeed and it's something we tell everyone on that you can at least in an office setting is a very control setting you know exactly what's going on uh, and you make assumptions basis that we don't as you were saying sankram we have no idea what's going on in their home i think if there is one takeaway here is like i think we'd have to give people a little space a little more compassion empathy and if we work on that front we should be in a much better space